Hey, what's up? We are on here. In 2020, 2021, yours truly took part in the Fabriano uh, Aquarelle uh, watercolor exhibition. The timeline is so confusing uh, because of COVID and everything, and everything was just on pause, but I remember sending the painting like a while back. But in any case, here's mine just to not bury the lead and just show you right out the gate. But what I do want to do is flip through this because there's tons of fantastic watercolor paintings of all different styles there and talk a bit about it. And by the way, there's gonna be some bonus footage of Forrest, our new foster dog, for uh, at least a week. Wait till the end, you will see it. So let's do that. So because I'm on the Israeli team, I thought it would be uh, fun to just look at that. Um, and then what I think I'll do near the end, I'll give you that uh, nice video um, of Forrest and then we'll, we'll I'll flip through probably the whole thing in time lapse and you can pause the video whenever you want. So this is Benny Gassenbauer. He organized the whole thing for us. Um, he's very well known here. Uh, has great, beautiful uh, paintings, uh, a lot of scenes from Jerusalem. Uh, but I'm not going to zoom in on everyone, I'll just zoom in on myself next. Uh, but uh, I am familiar with a lot of these artists, by the way, from local Facebook groups and from events and from this uh, particular exhibition. So here's mine, you know this one, Brooklyn Bridge. Um, I actually have a video on this on YouTube that you can watch the full process. This is pretty big, uh, 38 by 56. It's a rather large size for me for a painting. Uh, and then I'm just gonna flip through them and kind of uh, let you see. Uh, I love the flow. This is really nice. That crow looks great. I believe I took in this painting as I kind of consolidated some of them in my place and then someone picked them up uh, to be shipped. Oh, I remember Peter, he's really, really good. That's interesting. I said I won't zoom in, but it's really hard to stop myself. But let me show you up close. Just because the colors is just fantastic. Um, there are just beautiful, beautiful artworks here. Uh, Alexei, I actually have two paintings of his in my studio. Uh, one that you see occasionally behind me on the wall. Uh, so that's interesting. And I think that's the last page for our team. So uh, just to talk a bit more about this process, and you remember probably maybe watching the video, this was a bit of a breakthrough for me um, because it was big and, and whenever I paint a scene that I'm really connected with, uh, it's just different. It turns out differently and I was really connected to this scene because I took the picture uh, on Brooklyn Bridge. It was a great day, great experience. Um, and so there was this special unique connection with the scene itself, uh, which is always, it just always adds something a little different to the process. Um, I actually did, if you remember, a rough version of this one first, and then I really enjoyed it, so I decided developing it into a larger one. I actually really like the car here to the side. It's kind of blended and moves to the edge, so that's really, really nice. Uh, and maybe we can, we can look at some other artworks zoomed in. Uh, this one is really nice too. I uh, see Alana's uh, work a lot on Facebook. Great flow. Look at this, really, really nice. And by the way, there are a lot of uh, well-known artists here, um, like Javid Tabtebai and a bunch of others that, that I mention often in my videos. So. Um, it's just fun to uh, to see everyone here. I didn't uh, dive deep into Australia, so there could be um, a lot of the artists we know, like the Zbukvices and so on. Uh, I need to relook at that. Actually, I think we have time, just because there isn't really much. I'll show you all of the rest zoomed in, but then maybe we can go over some of the international artists or some of the organizers, I guess. Uh, of the event uh, and you'll see some really interesting paintings there but just because we started why not go zoom in on all of these great artists really good I love Alexei Bokingholz's work um, he also used to sell with me in the art fair here uh, his paintings just beautiful beautiful impressions so let's go back to the beginning and I'll kind of um, leaf over the international artists um, some of them uh, you probably are familiar with, like Julia Barmanov, I, I see her work all the time on Instagram. Um, if there's someone I'm very familiar with, I'll, I'll just let you know, but it doesn't, uh, it's not a, a referendum on the other artists, I'm just maybe less familiar with them. Uh, here's uh, Udis Correa, we're all familiar with Nicolas Lopez, I did also painting masters on them, let's zoom in a bit. Sorry for the barking. Um, here you see, beautiful, beautiful work. Javid Tabtebai, whom I mentioned quite a bit uh, lately. Really, really like his work. 
Um, and it's really fun seeing like tons of international artists. Uh, Michael Soloviev, another fantastic one. Emilio Cardenas, I wasn't familiar with, but I love that. I love that style. Um, reminds me of some other artists I really, really like. Has a, a lot of a flair of like Alvaro Castaneda, the dry brush, the touches. Uh, but it's still quite unique, you know. Even when I compare uh, one artist to another, Victoria Grigorieva, I wasn't familiar with her, but that that's just really, really nice. Um, so yeah. Ooh, here you have a few, like, I wasn't familiar with these uh, two painters, but look at that. Like, the technique is superb. And this could be, like, a nice replacement for Painting Masters episode that uh, a lot of people have been waiting for for a while. So it's not a deep dive, but we do get to see some of the best watercolor works out there. I wonder, actually, if anyone else who uh, watches this video joined uh, and participated in the competition, and or exhibition, rather, and if you... Uh, also got this uh, kind of, I don't know what you'd call it, like a brochure or a magazine, I'm, I'm not sure. So we're still in the international, this is really nice. Here. Uh, hopefully you can pause the video, this is also quite unique. Hopefully you can pause the video and kind of uh, either zoom in somehow or... Um, or uh, just look at it. Uh, ooh, this is nice, I love that. So we're still in the international, Katarina Sava, we're very familiar with her work. We did also, I believe, a Painting Masters episode. I love that flow. It's just genius. This is nice. This is really, really nice. And I think I'll try picking up the pace, unless I see someone I, I'm familiar with. This is nice. Oh, this I like too, a lot. Still international. I don't know why they did this weird cut. I'm not sure yet. This is nice, the blue. Um, people really are masters of like expressing themselves with colors. Definitely something I have to work on. This is really, really nice. Very subtle, not as shouty, but so good, you know. And hopefully you can go ahead and look some of these artists up. Because there's just a lot. Like, I, I'm not familiar with... 80%, 90% of the artists here, just because, you know, because there are so many. Um, ooh, this is nice, too. And here we go, we got to Albania. So I'm gonna pause here, let's jump into the cute snippet I promised I'll show you, and then we'll flip through the rest uh, in time-lapse. And that's actually gonna be it, so thank you so, so much for watching, uh, and I will see you again in the next vid. Yes! Good Yes, good God. Is it Tovata? Is it Tov? Hello.
Thank you.